Hundreds of wildfires continue to burn in B.C., and the Canadian military is sending help. So far, more than 7,000 people have been forced from their homes. CTV's Brianna Karsten-Smith is in Williams Lake with more. Helicopters take turns scooping up water from Williams Lake and dumping it on a nearby ridgeline billowing with smoke. Just a few hundred meters away, a new fire spontaneously ignites. Smoke pours into the sky and flames threaten the power line. With the helicopters busy, heavy equipment is brought in to create a barrier and keep the fire from spreading. Three major fires around Williams Lake have already destroyed more than 7,000 hectares, including an unknown number of buildings. We can't speak to how many or what because with the smoke it's hard to determine that. 7,000 people have evacuated across the province. It's a little different living in a parking lot. At this Walmart, a makeshift camp has been set up and become a community of sorts. You get a bunch of our veers together and, and it's almost party time. <laughs> <laughs> Margaret and Frank Douglas had to leave their home Friday night. Plans to celebrate their 50th anniversary with a steak dinner were altered. We met a couple on in the parking lot here and uh, they told us to come on over and we'll have hamburgers and uh, we popped a bottle of champagne that we got given to us back at home. For them, the weekend got better. We found out on Saturday um, that our house is still standing, which is great. So last night, my husband and I, we actually had a decent night's sleep for the first time. Others can only worry and wait. With new fires starting almost constantly and none of the old ones contained, both residents and emergency crews are in for a long week. This is a, an aggressive fire and a very active fire. Additional resources are desperately needed. More than 300 extra firefighters are on their way, and both Alberta and Saskatchewan have pledged air tankers. They should be arriving in the next few days. Ontario is also expected to contribute as well. That was CTV's Brianna Karsten-Smith.